whoever else is watching this, we're going to be going over blue flicks in this video uh, of a minor pentatonic origin today and exploring a little bit of chromaticism which can add to speed and um, interesting colors um, within the pentatonic so it doesn't sound too monotonous. Uh, the first lick we played there was all actually pentatonic. There's no chromaticism in it. However, um, what what really makes uh, blues and pentatonic so interesting is the way we play it and our phrasing. So phrasing's huge for us. Um, and a lot of times, with blues especially, less is more. B.B. King shows us that. Albert King shows us that. Um, and a slew of other ones also um, ex exemplify simplicity in, um, as the most elegant form with blues. Uh, so let's uh, break this first one down, and then we'll go to the second one, and we'll do the same. So we're going to be starting up um, really high um, in the fourth position of pentatonic, um, which is uh, which from low E to high E is 12-15, 12-15, 12-14, 12-14, 13, 15, 12, 15. And we're going to be utilizing only the B and the G string. And we start on the 15th fret of the B string. And we're going to do a full, uh, a, a whole step bend. And you're going to start um, un, unbent. And, it, and it's going to be a sharp with a vibrato at the top. And, and then you're going to come back down. And you're going to pick all the notes just to articulate them and assert each note as that being the one that you're playing um, and the um, central point of focus. Uh, however, it's, it's good to be able to bend in and out of notes to give it more character. So even as I left that, uh, that second to last note, I bent up into it so it was leading up into another note. So the notes are, we're going to be starting on D, which is 15th fret, and we're going to bend up to E, which is a whole step. And then you're going to bend sharply back down and land with a pick on D again. So it's 15, full bend up to 17, back to 15, and then we're going to go to C, which is 13th fret. And you're going to give it a little bit of whiskey, I call it, which is just a little bend, like a quarter step. And then you're going to, as, as you're bending up, and, and the destination of the bend isn't actually ending up anywhere. It's just constantly going up until you're ready to land and hit the 14th fret on your G string. Now, a crucial thing with this is because it's only pentatonic notes, Um, we we have the option of phrasing this in many different ways. Um, I really suggest experimenting not just with speed but with the opposite of speed and really trying to hit the note that can soar over all of the progression. Um, think back to Machine Gun by Jimi Hendrix and he has that one note that holds out for like 15 to 20 seconds and in music 15 to 20 seconds is a lot of time and it just stays and it just it really cries out more than any, you know, run of notes could do. Uh, so um, really, really experiment with that and see if you can actually and just really get the most out of each note and even try rhythmically hitting them. You know, and just really, really getting inside that and just really making the most of all those notes economically and melodically. Uh, so the second lick that we did after that um, was uh, down here on the, f on the uh, first position of A minor. You know, so um, for people who are just watching this, just getting into blues and, and guitar playing, the, the first pentatonic position is five... Uh, is five, for, for in, in the key of A, it's five eight five seven five seven five seven five eight five eight. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a little bit of chromaticism into this one, um, and that's that's going to be done using our sharp four or flat five, which is the diminished tone 
um, in the A uh, in the key of A for us. Um, so uh, the the lick starts off um, with a little bit of a pentatonic run, um, just going up, and our chromaticism comes right here. And the notes are um, we have C, D, D sharp, E. And then we come back down them. And um, I really suggest doing this both picking and hammer on pull off style, just to, so you can get the different effects. You can get legato or you can get really staccato with it. Or. They have really different sounds, and both have really useful applications. When you're so, when you're de designing your your own amalgamation of of styles to build your own, um, really consider that, and and really try not to lose sight of either one of those. So um, again, we have five, seven, eight on the G string, and then we land on five on the B string, and then we come directly down, not double hitting the uh, fifth fifth uh, fret on the B string. So then after that, we're actually going to go back up uh, the, the, the notes on the G string, but we're starting on the seventh fret now. So this is the second part. The first part was, and then we have, starting on the seventh fret G string, seven, eight, five. Seven eight seven five, and then, and then we have an extra seven five on there, and then uh, for the part three we have seven five on the G string, and then seven five on the D string, and then you just roll with your first finger back onto the fifth fret G string, and then land on seventh fret D string to resolve. So the first part, seven, uh, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, five, eight, seven, five. That's the first part. And then the second part is seven, eight, seven, five. And then the third part is so seven five G seven five D roll back over to five on G and land on seven D. So all together And it really becomes something that I'd really suggest practicing with both picking and, you know, hammer on pull off. Like I said, you're going to figure out new things, and I'm giving you these to really develop your own style about um, the blues because the blues is about speaking, and um, these are really good tools to speak. And just like with the first flick, I advise you to also, you know, work with the phrasing on this one. It's a very odd timing anyway. It's kind of one of those things that you juxtapose in. Um, so like if we're going from, you know, the 1 to the 5 at the end of a 12 bar. And then you land. Um, so it's really fun to juxtapose it. It's also really cool to actually make it fit um, in a grid time. Uh, so I hope these help. Uh, again, um, we'll, we'll get played out, and, and then I'll see you in the next video. Everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching.